Hi, welcome to the lesson on multi-step equations. Now, to solve an equation involving multiple steps, we simplify the equation by getting like terms on one side. However, when parentheses are involved, we have to remove them by using the distributive property and combining like terms. But I would also like to state this. Try to simplify an equation by getting all variables to one side and all numbers to the other side and reverse the signs in that process. So let me show you an example as far as what I'm talking about, or plenty of examples. So let's start with 4x plus 8 equals 6x. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some moving around. So I would like to get the variable on the left side of the equation. So I need to undo addition, so I'm going to do that by subtracting. So minus 6x on the right side as well as on the left side. So now I'm going to move my numbers to the other side. So we have plus 8. To undo that, we're going to subtract 8 on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of anything we do not need. So we have positive 8 minus 8, which cancels out because it's just 0. Same thing with 6x minus 6x. And so we're left with 4x minus 6x, which is negative 2x, equals negative 8. So now we need to isolate x somehow. So let's go ahead and divide by negative 2 on both sides. OK, so that means negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1. So we're left with 1x equals negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So x equals 4. OK, so let's go over some other examples. So let's say that you're given Let's see, 4x minus 3 is equal to 9 minus 8x. OK, so we're going to do the same thing. So let's move this negative 8x to the, to the other side by adding 8x. OK, and let's move this negative 3 by adding 3. So now let's go ahead and get rid of what we do not need. Negative 3, positive 3 is just 0, cancels. Negative 8x plus 8x cancels. 4 plus, 4x plus 8x is 12x equals 9 plus 3 is 12. So let's go ahead and isolate the x by divided by 12 on both sides. 12 divided by 12 is just 1, so it cancels out. We're left with 1x equals 12 divided by 12, which is 1. So x is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and move on. So let's say that you're given, let's see, 5 times y minus, yeah, okay, y minus 3 plus 2y equals 4. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look and see if we need to combine like terms inside of the parentheses. We do. We have y plus 2y. OK, so let's bring down our, our 5. So 5 times y plus 2y is 3y we're left with minus 3. So 5 times the quantity 3y minus 3 equals 4. OK, so now let's go ahead and distribute this 5 to each term. So we have 5 times 3y, which is 15y. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 equals 4. So we already have y on one side. So all we need to do is manipulate the numbers, OK? 
So let's move this minus 15 out of the way by adding 15 to both sides. So now we can cancel out what we do not need. So we're left with 15y equals 4 plus 15, which is 19. So let's go ahead and divide by 15 to get y alone. 15s cancel. We're left with y equals 19 fifteenths as an improper fraction or as a mixed number, 1 and 4 fifteenths. Okay? So let's go ahead and move on to a few more examples. So let's say that you're given, well, yeah, so let's say that you're given, let's see, 5 times 4a plus 1 is equal to 2a minus 3. Okay, so here we have parentheses. We do not need to combine like terms, so let's go ahead and distribute this 5. So 5 times 4a is 20a. 5 times 1 is positive 5 equals 2a minus 3. So let's move 2a to the other side by subtracting 2a. Let's move positive 5 to the, to the other side by subtracting 5. Okay, let's get, get rid of what we do not need. So 20a minus 2a is 18a equals negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. Okay, let's get a alone by dividing by 18. Eighteens cancel, left with 1a is equal to negative 4 ninths. Okay, so that's our answer. a equals negative 4 ninths. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and work with a few more. Go ahead and cancel or write this out. Okay, so let's say that you're given 4x plus 4 equals 2x. Okay, so what we're going to do is move this 2x to the other side. So let's go ahead and subtract 2x. Let's move this positive 4 to the other side by subtracting 4. Okay, let's get rid of what we do not need. 4x minus 2x is 2x equals negative 4. So we're going to divide by 2. So x is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Okay, so x equals negative 2. All right. All right, so let's move on with just one more example. So what about 2x minus 3 equals 9 minus 6x? So let's move this negative 6x to the other side by adding 6x. Okay, and let's move this minus 3 to the other side by adding 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of what we do not need. So 2x plus 6x is 8x equals 9 plus 3 is 12. 
solving for x. Let's divide by 8 on both sides. 8's cancel, so we have 1x equals 12 eighths. When simplified is equal to, you can go ahead and simplify it to 1 and 1 half or 3 halves. And I meant to say one and one half, not one and one third. Okay, so that's our answer. Hopefully this lesson was helpful to you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Take care.